Hey everybody, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. We are a web show all about the movies, not afraid to take bold stances like, you know what, if James Cameron actually figures out the fucking technology to show 3D movies without having to put on those glasses, I'll go see another one of his dumb Avatar movies. Fuck it. Yeah. I will walk into the middle of that blue universe <laughs> and love it. If I don't have to have the headache glasses, I'm in. <laughs> I'm your host, Steve Skelton. I'm here with fellow film pig Todd Robert Anderson. Hi, everybody. Our third pig, Stephen Falk, is unavailable this evening, but in his place is the lovely Alexandra Antoine. Hello. She's our Hello. favorite recurring Absolute. guest co host. Absolutely. Hey. Always love to have her. Thank you. And our special guest this episode is Jason Rohrer. Is he is a uh, critic for stage and cinema? Outspoken <laughs> Los no, Angeles critic. No, Jason, if you know his work, you know he does not like to rock the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was told I didn't have to speak tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, yeah. normally we would have just gone with your look. And it's great. <laughs> your look is great. Yeah, I like, I think you like the undercut? Yeah. It, yeah, I, I, like I got the undercut. It's really good. Yeah. But, you know, because it's, it's, this show is about movies, we kind of wanted to get your interjections. That's all. That's all. You don't have it. If you're uncomfortable with it, it's fine. Movies. Movies. <laughs> Fantastic. Jason, welcome to the show. And like we do every show, we toast a little popcorn. Yes. Mm. Oh. And uh, there we go. mm 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 mm, mm, mm. So welcome. Are you drinking like the juice from the reanimator or, or something? Swamp thing. <laughs> this is what was in the refrigerator. I was not told I would have to bring my own snacks, nor provide my own dialogue. And I have to say, I'm a little uncomfortable at this point. And I'd like somebody to prime the vaporizer. <laughs> our, our craft service is, has liquid of <coughs> indeterminate nature. Uh, yeah, but I don't drink anymore, so that's what we got. That's what we got. Yeah, yeah. so much better yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get things rolling with some rash judgments. What are rash judgments, you may ask? I I ask. I think every, every week time. people ask. I forget every week what they are. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Rash judgments are where we take a look at the movies that are coming out this weekend and tell you, the hard-working viewer, whether you should or should not go see them based solely on our own dickish instincts. We haven't seen these movies. We don't necessarily know any. We may have watched the trailer. Well, maybe. Maybe looked at Wikipedia. If there's a Wikipedia entry, maybe mm. if we wanted, felt, we didn't. So, uh, that's that. Dre, do you have a rash judgment for us? Yeah, hi. Um, Moana, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. It's that cute little cartoon with uh, Dwayne Wayne. Dwayne and Johnson. Dwayne. Oh, the shark is Johnson. The Rock. The Rock. Yeah. Isn't it Dwayne? Dwayne Johnson. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. Dre, this seems and, a little um, racist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, him and then the pussycat doll You're girl. talking about our next president. <laughs> <laughs> I healthy. wish The Rock was our president. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about running. Oh, yeah. is he? No joke. Well, so is Kanye West. I mean, anyways. Um, yeah, your so. Ticket? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm not going to go see it, but it looks adorable. Okay. It's a cartoon. It's set in Hawaii, and, you know, it's a cartoon. Why won't you see it? I don't do cartoons. Do you not? I'm sorry. Do you I'll not? do Archer. That's about it. I, don't, I just don't do cartoons. Oh, do, do you not like surfing? Um, I can watch it, but that girl surfed and lost her arm. Poor little Bethany. Because of the shark. So I don't know about that either. So <laughs> goddamn shark. That's off the bucket list. So yeah. So go see How it. How about movies with boats in them? <laughs> yeah, but the <laughs> we're not gonna go there. On top of the world. <laughs> not really. Um, yeah, it looks cute. Go see it. All Whatever. Right, so go see it, or in, but Dre won't. But be don't there. surf She's or get either. on a yeah. boat. Yeah. All right. Well, our uh, missing pig, Steve Falk, he does have a rash judgment for us that oh. uh, he's recorded so kindly. And maybe <laughs> I think we should take a look at it. Hey there. This is a rash judgment for Rules Don't Apply. Warren Beatty's uh, long-awaited, I guess, movie. Uh, he plays Howard Hughes. And... Um, and there's this guy, Alden Eric Enenreich, who we're all supposed to care about. He's an up-and-comer. Anyway, he plays Howard Hughes' driver. A chick called Lily Collins plays a young actress. And uh, they both work for him. And he's eccentric, and it's kind of goofy, and a throwback. And it looks um, well-made, like beautiful, like a throwback to old movies. So 
Um, if you like old movies and you like Warren Beatty, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I might check it out. I probably won't go to the theater, but I may see it, you know, around the way. Rules don't apply. Rated, I don't know. All right, that was a really interesting oh, wow. talk. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Steve! <laughs> well done. Good points, a lot of good points. Uh, Thanks for not swiveling in your chair. Yeah. In that Cloverfield yeah. camp. Tom? I'm assuming you do. Is it you or Jason next? Jason. Oh, I should go. You should go, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's the holiday season, you guys. Oh, that's right. Uh, it's uh, Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Oh. And I'm very excited to announce that this Thanksgiving weekend, you can take your whole family <laughs> to some Christmas magic in the form of Bad Santa 2. Oh. It's rated R, so if you're not progressive, then maybe you can't take your kids to see it. But I'm taking my kid to see it. He needs to learn about the true meaning of Christmas. And it, it, it's Billy Bob Thornton and that fat white kid and that little black person, and it's fucking hilarious. See Bad Santa 2, it's the only movie that's mattered. It's the only thing that's gonna make 2016 good. Oh, no. It's the only reason for this fucking piece of shit here. See Bad Santa 2, you fuckers. Spitting in my face. Yeah, but he's right. <laughs> You can't. No, I mean, I can't. I, you, you can't deny the, the yeah. truth of that kind it's of thing. The, it's the spittle of so, truth. So you watched the trailer, though, right? Yeah. You, you've seen the trailer for yeah, this thing. Yeah, and I liked it. Well, I yeah. saw I saw the restricted trailer, not the bullshit they show on TV. How oh. much dick is in the restricted trailer? A lot. <laughs> it's almost all dick. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Good. All right. Well, that's a, love it. that's a big thumbs up, and I guess dick up for Bad Santa, too. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. Jason? Do you have a rash judgment for us? I have a rash judgment. Fantastic. Apparently, uh, Robert Zemeckis has made a movie called Allied. Oh, oh. Uh, Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck would you say? Look, it's uh, a Robert Zemeckis movie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what do you got? Yeah, there you go. Back I mean, to the Future 3? Fuck you. <laughs> what else you got? Two? Fuck you. <laughs> what like, you Bicentennial want? Man? Bicentennial Man wasn't uh, was Robert Ma Zemeckis, Zemeckis, but it might as well have been, <laughs> right? It was like the Schindler's List that of... That really feels uh, like a Zemeckis, of, uh, uh, Who's the comedian who died Robert this Williams. year? Right. Oh, which the, one? Yeah. I don't Robert know. Yeah. No. Zemeckis must have directed a Williams picture at some point. Yeah. I don't know which one. I don't know which well, one. Well, it wasn't Bicentennial Man. Right in Chris Columbus? Chris Columbus. Oh, uh, maybe yeah. that was a Columbus. I'd see Chris Columbus ten times. Before like Zemeckis. Naked. Before I would watch this right, Robert right. Zemeckis movie starring Brad Pitt. So that's a so that's a so that's a maybe on Allied. <laughs> Spit take. Yay! We did Good it. Good work. <laughs> all right, that was rash judgments, uh, everybody. Now, all kidding aside, the film pigs are serious about serving their community, mm -hmm. and we do this through public service announcements. Yep. These come in many forms. We talk about uh, people in the movies. We talk about the kind of movies that are being made. We talk about etiquette in the movies. Uh, so we have another public service announcement for you guys to absorb, <laughs> to learn from, to internalize, like and to sponge. take out into the world. Todd, what do you think we should do? I think we should roll it! You fox! 2016 has been an interesting year. It's been hot garbage. All the people who made life better have died or are being replaced. Every single musician died this year. I don't think there are any musicians left, just Spotify playlists. It's just too much. I can't deal, you guys. Everything has been blown up for the worse, which is why we need an escape. A release valve. But what? I'm too old and feeble to play video games. Got the carpal tunnel. Virtual reality made me throw up on my Oculus Rift. How would you manage that? I fell backwards on my head and threw up. And apparently, that voids the warranty. That's too much work. I want passive entertainment. A place where you can sit in the dark and pretend the world isn't. Happening. Make it all stop for a minimum running time of 80 minutes. 
to qualify as feature length for award season, of course. Normally, I prefer movies with a short running time. Now, I want them to be longer. A lot longer. And louder! Much, much louder! All movies should be like the Transformers movies! Suddenly, the world of Autobots and Decepticons seems like such a rich and fertile universe for storytelling. There should be more. Art can be transcendent and uplifting. But right now, all I want is a thousand screaming robots hammering at my eyes and ears with CGI violence so I can't think about anything else! I want to be in a theater watching a Transformers movie now. Right now. And tomorrow. And the day after. I want 17 more Transformers movies right now! <laughs> Thought I was burned out on superhero movies, but you know what? Bring on the next 40 Avengers movies! I'm fucking ready! Captain America versus Iron Man. What's your face versus the other one? Everybody versus Hawkeye. I hate Hawkeye. Everybody hates Hawkeye. Actually, there's a really great comic book series about Hawkeye where Hawkeye owns this like apartment building and he fights mobsters and he has a dog and he calls him Pizza Dog. And one of the whole issues is just from the dog's perspective. You shut up! You're making me think about the world outside movies! More comic book movies, Marvel! More! You're not making them fast enough to distract me! Now, I even want to see the damn DC Comics movies. I want to see the Justice League movie. Maybe more than once. That's right, I said more than once! Ben Affleck as Batman, fine, good, I'm in. Just get me to the multiplex before the news comes on! Wonder Woman's bulletproof but still deflects bullets with her bracelet? Who cares? Give me my ticket! I just want to vape my legal weed and sit in a dark theater for a couple hours. It's like a timeout, but for adults with legal weed. There'll be a time to deal with the real world. It's not going anywhere. But just for a moment, I need to check out. Do what you do best, movies. Make us forget. Shit! I think I left my vape pen in the theater. There you go. That oh. was our public service announcement. Holy mackerel. We need more loud movies that to distract makes, us. It actually makes sense. Mm -hmm. thought, I'm going to go back and watch Transformers 4 at least <laughs> until the point where they killed TJ Miller. Wait, you Mistake. told me too much. Wait. Spoiler, sorry. Why the fuck did they do that? He's the only good part of that movie. He wanted to get I know it, people though. are on the fence about T.J. Miller's comedy chops, whatever, in the whole comedy universe. He's funny, and they shouldn't have killed him. All right, that's an interesting Screw rant. that up, Michael Bay. <laughs> Should have killed yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Okay, good. <laughs> that's really an atypical drop ball for Michael Bay. <laughs> it's funny. You know, you don't usually... <laughs> he usually nails it. <laughs> it's funny. Weird! I mean, shit blew up. Yeah. yeah that's what you got. He kept time. Shia LaBeouf alive for three movies. He couldn't keep T.J. Miller alive for one. I think he likes Again, him. another reason to... I, I don't think that came out in 2016. But, you know, let's also blame 2016 <laughs> on that Transformers movie. Why not? Yeah, shit. Lump it in there, guys. Remember the main. So uh, that was the show, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I want to thank Todd Robert Anderson. I want to thank you're Stephen welcome. Falk, who wasn't here but gave us a rash judgment. He says you're welcome. I want to thank our very special fill-in host, uh, Alexandre Antoine. Thank Always you. a pleasure. It's pronounced Antoine. Antoine. Alexandre Antoine. It's aggressive. It's Antoine. And a huge <laughs> thanks to Jason Rohr, our guest. Woo! Check him out on stage and cinema. Oh, and he's got a podcast I heard about. Oh, that's right. Oh. And you guys got your little podcast. Oh, yeah. that's really belittling, but yeah, it's our little <laughs> podcast. All podcasts are little. No, it's ours like is two huge. and a half hours long. It's really big. <laughs> it's Once a big a fucking month, podcast. Two and a half hours yeah. of Jason and Todd yammering about bullshit. You never have guests, it's just the two of you? No, and we put a movie on and we don't pay any attention to it. <laughs> Occasionally we'll get a guest, but uh, yeah, occasionally. you know, it still doesn't interfere with our non-movie watching <laughs> activities. Well, where can you find it? Yeah. Uh, you can find it on iTunes. It's called Jason and Todd Talk Through Lousy Films. It's on iTunes and uh, Hipcast. Ooh, hip What's hip Is that it's, like a it's podcast? A, podcast it's a, it's hosting it's a, it, it, website. Right. Are these current You'd like their early stuff. Or like movies from the past? <laughs> you no, know, movies hip from guess, the past. They changed, man. The last movie we talked <laughs> through. You can't trust them now. <laughs> 
The last movie we talked through at the time of this recording was Rabid, David Cronenberg's Rabid. Oh. Yeah, because it was Halloween, and that one's scary. All right, <laughs> so check that out, and uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, the concession stand is closed yeah. due to health code violations. Yeah! Yes. Fuck you! <laughs> 2016. 2016. Gotta love it. Uh. Mm.